Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing ratios and rates. This is standard 6.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 38 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a recipe, and we've got three eggs used to make 45 cookies. Then I need to have a table showing the relationship between the number of eggs and the number of cookies. So we've got eggs, cookies, eggs, cookies, all the way across. And what we're looking for is this ratio, 3 to 45. Now, obviously, it would be really easy if one of these had that exactly, that exact same ratio in its table, 3 eggs, 45 cookies, but it doesn't. So what we can do is we can just try to find something that is the simplified version of this. Let's take this 3 to 45. I want to look at it real quick as a fraction. Let me see if I can simplify this because I believe both of these can be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 45 divided by 3 is going to be 15. So there we go. So there's my simplified version is 1 to 15. 1 egg for every 15 cookies. And if you triple that, you're going to get your 3 to 45. Now, can I find that in any of these? Let me just start with the simplest version here. I've got 6 to 270. Looks a bit big, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me see. 6 to 270. I'm going to turn this into a fraction. I'm going to reduce. And let me see. I'm not sure if 6 goes into it. So let me just, I know they're both even. Let me just start with at least even. I can go with 2. So 3 goes into 135. And 3 can be divided by 135. Here's the trick, guys, when you're trying to find your divisibility rule by 3, is add up all these three digits. 1 plus 3 plus 5. That makes 9, right? And if the sum of the digits can be divided by 3, so can the actual number. And since 9 can be divided by 3, then we're good here. So it could have been divided by 6. Let's see what we have here. That's going to be 1 and 3 goes into 135. I am not sure. Off the top of my head, it's going to be 4, 15, that's 5. Wow. Okay, so 1 to 45. So here's my ratio right here is 1 to 45. Not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 1 to 15. So let's look at this one. I've got my 6 to 15. So let's make that into a fraction, divide each of these by 3, and I'm going to get 2 fifths, no, and that's, that's as simplified as it can get, 2 fifths, it's not what I'm looking for, I'm looking for this 1 to 15, so H is not going to be it. 6 to 90. Let's see. 6 to 90. So let's make that into a fraction. And let's, let's see, divide this by 6. And I'm going to get 1, 2, let's see, 6 goes into 90. Oh, there we go. That could be it. There's my 1 to 15. So it could be G, and I can tell you J is not going to work. Look, at they have it flipped. They have it 90 to 6. So G is the same as J, except they kind of flipped. So it looks like it's going to be G. Let me just double check to make my make sure my 9. I always want to make sure your second one works, right? 9 to 135. So let's divide each of these by 9. I'm going to get 1, hope this is 15, let's see, that's going to be 9, 45, yep, 15, answer is G.